Hey there, relationship entrepreneurs. This is Chris Stone from Conscious Cock, and I hope that you're doing well and you're beginning to experience some of the benefits of doing your Kegel exercises and fucking your life every day. Today, I'm going to give you a tool to really empower you to improve how you can support and connect to your female partner. It's simple, it's fast, it's free, and you use it on your phone. You know, a year ago, I realized that I really needed to keep track of my partner's monthly cycle. Her changes would often just completely take me by surprise, and I wanted to be empowered rather than bewildered. So I downloaded a few apps that women use to track their cycles, and I tried them out. What a good idea that turned out to be. You know, whether you know it or not, there's three to four distinct emotional periods that many women go through each month as their hormone levels change. And if you learn these periods and what happens in them, then you can be equipped to handle and support and even enjoy them as they happen. Actually turning the tables on them and using them to empower and support your relationship rather than bringing chaos and misunderstanding between you. You know, it's the path of a conscious lover to love all of her, not just the parts that you enjoy. If you can learn to love all the aspects of her that occur in her life, she'll learn from you that she can count on you and that she won't have to hide from you. So, I've made a quick little pie chart that gives a grossly generalized summary of the periods. Please use it as a general roadmap, but don't go driving off a cliff with it. All right? Every woman is completely unique, and learning what your partner's cycle is is much more important than these gross generalizations that I put on this chart. But still, this is a place to start. Find out when her period starts, and then that is the beginning of week one. Then you can map out into the future when the best times and worst times will be to do certain things. For example, don't go planning a dance date when she's going to be having cramps and feeling like she wants to hide away from the world. You know, do plan an awesome vacation for the week or two that she's probably going to be feeling outgoing and playful. You know, the idea is to work with her cycles to empower your life. And then when you know that she's likely to be feeling down and sensitive, then you can be extra nice and caring and supportive and she'll love you the more for it and you'll both get along better for it. So here's a quick rough summary. For weeks one and two, as her estrogen levels slowly build, you know, she feels increasingly optimistic and outgoing, happy, confident and social. She's sharp, less stressed and less sensitive to pain and discomfort. You know, these generally are the really great weeks to plan activities with other people, vacations and dates. You know, and this wonderful period builds, and she generally feels playful and sexier until she ovulates. So, if you want to plan a time for when you might get lucky, then plan to have a romantic evening alone around her ovulation date. You know, women can be really excited about lovemaking when they're ovulating, honestly. So, be ready to show up and show some stamina if you awaken her goddess during this time period. You know, after she ovulates, though, she experiences experiences an estrogen crash quickly, which leads to weeks three and four, where she can get increasingly irritable and sensitive, emotional, moody, stressed out, hungry. You know, she might become introverted, intuitive, sad, sensitive to pain and discomfort. You know, this is when you can shine in your capacity to provide selfless, loving support and kindness to her. Take the opportunity and show her that you care by doing little things to help her feel loved and cared for. You know, a hot water bottle and hot soup when she has cramps goes a long way to demonstrate that you understand and care for her. You know, there's tons of information out there on the internet to help you understand the hormonal basis for these and to more precisely map your partner's recurring circular tendencies. So go read them. You know, I highly recommend mymoontime.com for information and for understanding. It's a great resource. Although on my phone, I personally use an app called Clue, as in like, get a clue. You know, and it really shouldn't need to be said, but guys, never, ever tell her, oh, you're being an emotional wreck, or you're just irrational. You know, doing that just shows her you're a dick and that you don't understand her and aren't strong enough to handle her feminine energy and her capacities. You know, what's best is if she is experiencing emotional ping pong, it's just show her that you love her and support her. Give her some space, but be close by if she needs you. And then when she does, then be there and be ready to be seriously real with her. I mean, she might just let you hold her in a moment of severity and intensity in which she's never let anyone else in in her entire life. You know, these are the keys to the sacred realm here, guys. Wield them with proper high intention and conscious love, and it'll bring you together, and she'll love you more for it. And you'll love her more deeply as you come to see and understand her and her multiple facets and tendencies. 
You know, one of my girlfriends just told me, quote, most guys don't know that every month they have a relationship with four different women, unquote. Now, I, I think that's funny and I don't quite agree with her, but it's a fun thought stimulator. You know, so go download Clue and check out MyMoonTime.com and get a clue about your partner's cycle and start using it to empower and connect you. And keep doing your kegels every day. And remember to fuck your life and give me some love by leaving a comment or sharing this video. All right, this is Chris Stone from Conscious Cock. Hasta mañana.